Hey Joe from Boulay's Garage. If you own a 2011 Ford Explorer with a 3.5 liter engine in it, like that one behind me that's been sitting for a while and it won't turn over, you might want to watch this video. Hold on. Hey, I get the phone call from one of my customers and their 2011 Ford Explorer will not turn over. They tried a different battery, still nothing. The starter sounds like it wants to turn the car over, but it won't. Um, so I brought the vehicle in, I tested the battery. The battery did test bad, however, it had the wrong battery in it. So that's not the problem. So I was expecting the worst with this one. And what I found was from this vehicle sitting, the customer told me it only sat for like a week and a half tops, the air conditioner compressor and the alternator have seized. And I'm going to try something um, to get this thing through, maybe possibly running again, without actually replacing the alternator and the AC compressor. Now the AC compressor in this vehicle, um, is not available without the clutch pulley that I can see. Um, so I'm gonna try and free this up just to get it going. Um, I'm gonna try and be optimistic that the alternator might still work, but who knows, we'll see. So as you can see down here, um, I've removed the, uh, the belt to the uh, alternator and the compressor. They're one. Now, I'm going to, um, well, I actually, I already did put um, a 24 millimeter socket on the uh, alternator pulley and I was able to break it free and I'll show you what I did down the bottom with the AC compressor. I'll give you a better shot here in a minute. Let me get the car up in the air. Okay, so what I did was, is kind of unorthodox, but I took a chisel and on the outside edge of this pulley, I, well, got up against it and then tapped it. I finally got it to break free. As you can see, I got that to, to move. Um, and, you know, I put some penetrant in the back behind it. Now, keep in mind that this AC system uh, was depleted of refrigerant. It's got a leak somewhere else. It's got over 140,000 miles on this vehicle. It's really not worth putting a whole AC compressor in it. Well, a lot of you guys out there might be saying, well, why not put a bypass pulley in? A bypass pulley system is basically, it omits the AC compressor and is just a pulley with a bearing on it that takes the place of the pulley and the AC compressor. Um, I tried to just get the AC compressor uh, clutch assembly separate but that's not available. I guess uh, a bypass system is available for some of the F-150s, but not for the Ford Explorer application. Now, this thing, I'm gonna start it up. I'm gonna put the belt back on. I got the alternator free, um, and it's probably gonna sound like crap, but the only other option for this customer from a cost-effective standpoint is to try and find a used AC compressor from one of these. Um, with the clutch pulley on you and swap out the clutch pulley. Um, it's likely going to need the alternator. I'm going to see if it actually still functions when I start it, see if it's going to charge, and I'm going to give the customer a call and give them all the options. So I'm going to get putting the new belt, the belt back on. All right, well, I got some good news for the customer, at least temporarily, but... I got the belt back on and started it up and it's really quiet I'm surprised and the best thing about this is is that the alternator is charging and working all right okay so we've had a happy ending with this uh, Ford Explorer for the most part we'll see but since more and more people are working from home today, I strongly suggest you take the extra effort and get your car on the highway. Ideally, your car should be driven at least once a week at 60 miles an hour up the highway. You gotta get your car running up to temperature. This vehicle sat for a week and a half straight. In turn, the AC compressor uh, bearings locked up along with the alternator. 
So I'm seeing not only this kind of thing, rusted brake rotors, fuel stagnation, rodents chewing wiring more than ever, uh, making nests in your car, um, this causing all kinds of damage. So drive your car every day. You know, just starting it up and letting it idle in the, in the driveway is not cutting it. Um, and you might want to think about possibly leasing a car if you can find a car, if you're not going to put a lot of miles in your car. Um, but anyway, until next time, like and subscribe. Hopefully this saved you some headaches. Um, this person could have easily been told they needed an engine, saying that the engine was seized up. Um, so it's important that if you have a situation like this, Make sure that the external drive belts are pulled off to rule out any seizure of alternator or AC compressor clutch. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope this has helped you out and possibly saved you a bunch of money. Have a good night.